Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm really excited about. I'm going to do a paint pour and transform this journal um, into something really cool. Um, I found it at a Goodwill. Nothing special. I did like the pages. I like this strap that holds everything up together, this elastic band. And it also has this pocket in the back where I can put handouts or, or whatever kind of little things that I need. The only thing I don't like about it is this word Hoya and it was it was indented. So what I did was I took some Ranger Texture Paste opaque mat and I filled it up. Um, the reason I want to do paint pour is because of this journal that I did and it was a very similar kind of journal and I just did a paint pour on it. It's just an experiment and I loved how that turned out so I wanted to do that again on this. The process is I'm going to use these little cups fill them with layers of paint and then drop them onto the cover and then just let them ooze and mold, you know, just kind of lava flow all over it. And I've got newspapers, I got it set on a pizza pan so that I can easily um, move it to another place so I can still use my desk for other projects, which I let do while it was drying. So some of the supplies that I'm using today is the Collage Podge Instant Decoupage in Matte and these little cups are little Dixie cups, nothing special there and you can use like all, all kinds of different things. You don't have to use Dixie cups, you can find things around the house that you can use. And I decided to use four instead of three just because of the coverage I thought I might, I might want to use. So you're going to get a lot of my thought processes during this video and um, I, hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how to do your own. Also having, having white paint along with um, the other colors that I'm going to choose today. And isn't that grasshopper cute? So here's my other journal and I went with lots of different colors um, and I really liked how it turned out. I was thinking about going a monochromatic on this one with all the blues but I took out my other journal and I said this is fun I like this and uh, just to let you know that's the glue that I used between the layers in in the old journal. So and it turned out okay. It's a little crackly and I never, I did not Mod Podge it on the outside. Anyway, I decided not to use those blues and I went with some brighter colors that I thought would be fun together and black and then white. And those were gonna be the colors that I use. Now, one thing about these colors, you layer them. So if you want the layer, if you want a certain color on the top, you put it on the bottom kind of thing. So I wanted blue to be on the top. At least that was my that was my thoughts. Okay, that made a lot of sense to me to put the color you want on the top, put it on the bottom. So I put in the matte medium first as just a base. And then I went with my color choices. And you can see the blue and then the red, the yellow and the purple. Okay, so you can see that I've got my paints all set to go. I'm positioning my book and I'm putting a paper in there to protect the inside of the inside pages. And uh, I am so excited. I'm ah, hoping that turns out okay. Here we go, dumping them out. Let them set for just a second and pray it all works out. And then just pull them off and then watch it ooze around. Isn't that cool? I love it already. 
already it just looks amazing so then I carefully gingerly gently let it just flow and you can see the colors just emerging from underneath each other as it flow. It's just really cool. This part alone just kind of mesmerized me. And it's, I just loved watching how it, how it just oozed and all these cool shapes. It looks kind of like a galaxy. So anyway, that part was just pretty fun. And so I did that for a little bit. And, uh, and I filled in some of the edges with the excess paint that is oozing off, it to, off the sides. And this palette knife worked really well for just collecting some of that excess paint. Thou shalt not waste paint, right? Then I didn't use the alcohol inks, I thought I might, but uh, so I take a piece of paper just from my stash of scraps and start picking up everything that's on this outside and on the, that's flowed over the edges of everything, you know, so why not, right? Anyhow, that's what I that's what I did and I'm loving how this is turning out so far. I'm having a blast and I'm thinking to myself, I have to tell everyone about this. It's the coolest thing. We'll see how everything turns out once it's dry and such. So anyway, stay tuned. pleased with the results so far it just looks really cool I know drying is going to change it a little bit but that's okay um, it's making this huge mess all over but it doesn't matter that's part of the fun I'm going to clean up and I'll get right back to you okay here's the the dried result so far I really like how it's turning out it's about 12 hours of dry time and it's I love it. It got some on the inside, but I'll peel off as much as I can and I'll cover it with another something, piece of paper or whatever. Um, and I've got the band. I'll just probably tuck in. Uh, just a review on the supplies that I used, the colors that I used. Um, the red barrel, apple barrels, I mean, worked out great for this. And the white and black, uh, black is dream coat. Doesn't matter to me. And then the collage posh. And oh, also the thing that I wanted to show you that I, I filled in the Hoya with this texture paste. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. All right, I'm gonna get a piece of paper to cover that in and, and then I'm gonna get started. Enjoy.
like this so much. I'm having so much fun. Here is the cover after about another 12 hours of drying. It's still a little tacky, um, but I want to get this piece of paper off of here. And uh, you can see the, the band, and it's no big deal, that part right there. Yeah, and it's cold. It has a cold feel to it, so it must be still drying a little bit. But I do want to get this piece of paper off of here. One thing about the drying, um, the other side, I noticed while it was drying, it started to crack a little bit. So there's some places all over the back of it where it's cracked, and you can see in that still. Um, but there's also, there's uh, like valleys too where the paint didn't quite ooze flat. So that I love that texture. I think that's going to just add to it. So I'm going to move the paper around, or move the paper off of it, and uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, this is this is without the paper. As you can see, it got a little bit of paint inside that crease. No big deal. I'll just wipe it off with the tissue. Same on the other side. And it didn't dry after all this sitting time. It still didn't dry inside of there. But the band looks fine. No worries. It didn't affect it at all. There's just this really cool imprint of where I painted over it. It oozed underneath of it, so it still looks fine. It's still usable. And uh, the back and the front look great. There's a little more black on the front and a little more purple on the back. And I just think the spine looks cool. So, yeah, thumbs up. So I'm going to use this Mod Podge Gloss Luster to give it a coat. And uh, as you can see, this Mod Podge is not fresh. And uh, there's issues that we'll shortly see. Well, the Mod Podge is coming out in clumps, but I'm committed now, so I'm just going to use it up. It's I've actually had it for a really long time. I'm going to say probably about eight years. <laughs> so I, I need to replace this, I'm seeing. I should have checked it out before I started doing this, but I think it's still going to be okay. I know you're only supposed to put a thin layer on, but that first layer looks pretty thick. Um, I'm going to try to spread it around as best I can and uh, just live with whatever happens. Here's hoping. The Mod Podge, even though it was thick, it didn't have any adverse effects. I love how it turned out. I went out and went ahead and did the other side as well. Cool spine, right? Um, and I just love how it turned out. So happy with the results. The paint pouring itself is fun. I love the flow, how the paint just flowed and the reds, pops of reds here and there and how the peach color turned out. It's just so much fun. I hope you get a chance to do this yourself. It does take up a lot of paint and it is messy, but it does, for those little things, it didn't affect anything. Here's the paint pickup paper from the front cover and I got a little bit else there. And this is the paint pickup paper from the back cover, a little more mushed up colors. So whatever, still pretty, still cool. I'm loving it. I'm gonna. I'm so excited to keep using this for my sermon notes. Put some tape there because there was edges that were kind of loose. So yeah, really happy with the results. I hope you get to ch get a chance to do this too. Find an old book, get some paint, and just pour and see what happens. Love you guys. Till next time. God bless.